Want to know how to speed up your footage, make slow motion videos, and create smooth speed ramps in Premiere Pro? Check this out! Hi, this is Alex from Massive, the fastest way to deliver all your large files instantly. And today, we're gonna talk about speed ramps. Videos can be sped up, they can be slowed down, but a speed ramp is a technique used to combine different speeds on the same clip. This technique is used to emphasize some parts of your clip, creating an impactful effect on your editing. It gives that extra flavor to keep your audience excited and interested. Let me show you how to play with speed in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have already this clip on my timeline. To access the speed controls, you can either right-click on your clip and select the option Speed Duration, or you can use the shortcuts Command-R in Mac and Control-R in Windows. This 100% represents the normal speed. The higher the number, the faster the video will play. Now, if we put it at 50%, it will slow down the video to half its normal speed. But one extremely important thing to remember for slow motion, the footage that you use should be shot at a minimum of 60 frames per second. Our eyes see normal movement at 24 frames per second. So when shooting at 60 frames per second, you can easily slow it down by half without the movement looking choppy. But if you want to slow it down even further, you will need a higher FPS so you can have that smooth movement. A trick you can do if you want a super slow-mo but don't have the frames to afford it is to change the time interpolation to optical flow here. Also, don't forget to keep your sequence settings at 24 frames per second. Okay, now let's go to speed ramps. Right click on your clip and at the bottom, go to show clips keyframes, time remapping, then speed. When this white line is visible, it means that this bottom thinner line can be used to control and modify speed instead of opacity. Drag it down and it will slow down the footage. Drag it up and it will speed it up. You can see the percentage you are at when you move it. Let's put the playhead right when I want to start the run. Hover over the thinner line and press on your keyboard Command for Mac or Control for Windows. Click and a keyframe will appear. This section is going to go faster first, so we will raise the thin line. If you rewatch this part, it will abruptly change from one speed to another. It's okay if that's the effect you want, but to have this transition smoothly and polished, just grab the keyframe and drag it to the side. Here, you will be able to see the actual ramp going from one speed to the other. Click on the keyframe and a little blue dot with lines will appear in the middle of the ramp. If you drag it as well, it will help to smooth the stiffness of the ramp. After going fast, we're going to go slow. Add another keyframe when you want the slow mode to end. Move the line down and then drag the keyframe to smooth the transition. To finish this ramp, let's make this final part fast again. How does that look? You can keep polishing the ramp by moving the keyframes to adjust the duration of the transition and by trying different speeds to achieve the effect you want. When you finish your video, use Massive to send your reviews or final deliveries to anyone anywhere in the world. This is the fastest way to deliver raw footage and all those Massive media files that are occupying space in your hard drive at the moment. Sign up for Massive and you will get 100 gigabytes free to use however you want. Link in the description box below. If you want more filmmaking tricks, please click that like and subscribe button. We will bring you more tutorials and more gifts to make your workflow the smoothest as possible. See you next time. Bye!